What about Nate, the nature boy? You said you wrestled him a lot. And obviously oh, yeah, a lot. The yeah. NBA champion would come in, and you know, you, you'd yeah. have a bunch of guys from territory wrestling. Yeah, and Flair was Flair. He liked people. If he didn't like you, you knew it. And me and him got along pretty good, but he was a little cocky. But we're all cocky at times, I reckon. Uh, uh, especially when somebody's trying to back you up in a corner. It's, uh, but you know, he, I remember watching him pay a thousand, two thousand bucks just to keep a bar open two hours. It was crazy going to West Virginia and keep those bars open all night long. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's different times. <laughs> I ain't had a drink in 30 years. Yeah. With Nate and him, him coming in, he'd basically take over the territory. It'd be, you know, literally inside the ring and outside the ring, it seems like. Uh, yeah, sure would be. And it was uh, pandemonium everywhere. They sold that sportatorium out so much, all the time. Oh, my God. It's crazy. Yeah. Frank Bonham was the commentator back then. That's in the eight. I got there in 1980. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What do you think about working Flair and being such a good worker and you know legendary champion and everything else? Flair? Yep. Well, I think he went overboard with some of the women. If you watch that, it's something about late night uh, or I forget what it was, but it showed Flair getting in trouble raping the women and shit and uh, making moves he should have never made. <laughs> I don't know. And then I, he was, the IRS was hot on his ass. And I think Vince paid a lot of that off, but I don't know. Uh, maybe he might still have problems. <laughs> he had what problems about, with the IRS. Go ahead. What about, uh, what about him in ring, though? Like when you were wrestling him, what did you think about him? Great guy. Hell of an athlete. Um, a phenomenal NWA superstar, and he was. And, I mean, he backed up what he said he could do. I mean, we did our Broadways together, and uh, that's time limit draw, and shit, he loved it, and, and so did I. So we had some good matches for sure. There's a bunch of them on YouTube. i seen them yesterday. It was like 47 of them. I couldn't believe so many of them. <laughs> Was yeah. that like the staple, the 60 minute time limit draw for the NWA champion? Uh huh. Yeah. And uh, when we went to, like in Oregon, you'd do two out of three and you'd do the first match, go at least for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and then you come back the second one, then the third one. I got used to that two months, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, two out of threes, that was different. Definitely different than uh, nowadays, for sure. You uh, rarely see oh, it. I, yeah. don't, I just don't want that that long, but you rarely see the 60-minute time on the draw. Uh, you rarely see a 60-minute match. Back then, you've seen it all the time. Nowadays, <laughs> you can watch WWE in an hour show. You might see 15 minutes of wrestling. <laughs> That's crazy. Like a soap opera.